Today joining us is Dr. Charles Fontenier, who is an assistant professor in the Horticulture and Landscape Architecture Department. And Dr. Fontenier uh, started a new internship program for undergraduates this past summer. Could you tell us a little bit about that program? Certainly, Casey. Um, the program is called uh, the uh, Urban Horticulture Research and Extension Experience for Undergraduates. And uh, uh, what I really want to highlight is the, is the word experience in that. Um, it's, it's part of a USDA uh, funded project that allows us to bring in undergraduate students and uh, teach them about research and teach them about extension all under the umbrella of horticulture uh, so in you, our department. Yep. You had about 10 students this past summer and they did quite an array of different projects. And can you tell us about, you know, what did that program involve, specifically their day-to-day -day experience? The students um, came from all over the state and uh, they were housed here on campus in one of the dormitories and uh, their day-to-day -day experience uh, varied depending on which, which instructor or which uh, faculty mentor they were assigned to. And so some of them might have spent their daily activities in a uh, more of a laboratory setting, some would be out more in a, in a field setting, but, but basically they get to work hand in hand with one of our research professors. So the research varies, is that? That's right, so we, uh, we had uh, a wide range of students. Mm -hmm. um, some had a fair amount of research coming in and so, some had never really done any kind of research. And so the projects were chosen to, uh, to match up with their skill set and their interests. And uh, because at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is help students recognize that, that they can do research if they want to, and that opportunity is out there. And, and not only that, they can do research that's very helpful to people directly and has a huge impact on, 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 on people locally here in Oklahoma, as well as across the, the world if they want to. So what are some of the other perks of this uh, internship program for somebody who might be applying? So the students that were here um, all received a, a, a weekly stipend and so uh, it can be treated like a, a summer job if you want to, but it's more than that. It's, it's really truly meant to be kind of an internship. So mm -hmm. some of the students also would use that for class credit if they needed it. Um, um, housing was provided for them free of charge on campus, um, as well as uh, um, at least one meal a week, we would get together and have kind of a working lunch, a brown bag lunch, where we'd talk about what we'd done each week. And so, so some meals would be provided. and then. And then we also had a lot of group activities where we'd go on field trips and uh, take a look at horticulture in action. And, and those are always fun and, and kind of what sets um, this apart from some of the other research experiences that are out there. All right, well, I know we had a chance to take a look at some of the research that these students were doing. So we're gonna take a look at that now. I'm Alyssa Ely. I'm from North Texas on Coppell. And because I'm a student here at OSU, so I'm going to be a senior. I'm doing a drought stress uh, project comparing a standard putting green to two putting greens that were bred at OSU. I've talked to some of the mentors in the program too, and they said it was a good introduction on how, like, grad school and how to re do research if you don't have experience with it. So. Yeah, uh, my name is Mason McLemore, and I am from uh, the University of Oklahoma. I'm a senior majoring in plant biology with a concentration in biotechnology and a minor in chemistry. Um, in this research, we're taking a look at um, compounds found within lettuce. Um, my lab partner and I, and I myself, will be um, looking at bitter compounds called sequetropine lactones that are found within this lettuce. Um, we're going to end up trying to see if there's a correlation between um, the taste of lettuce and the sugars and compounds that we're finding in them. I think what's most important for me is the ability to use um, the equipment needed to identify these compounds and not only that but this is my first time um, developing procedures in an actual research setting. The REEU program is, is really nice because it is a paid internship. Actually with the, with the financial situation I'm in for example I wouldn't be able to end up doing this kind of program without that. My name is Darren Blanchard, and I'm originally from Mounds, Oklahoma, and um, attend Oklahoma State University studying horticulture, and I graduate this fall. We are looking at uh, the nutrient content of lettuces, field-grown versus hydroponic. When looking over the guidelines for the program, I felt like it was 
tailor-made for what I was wanting to do because I do have aspirations to attend graduate school and it allowed me to work with some of the uh, graduate professors here at OSU and uh, able to work under them and uh, kind of pick their brain for a 10-week period and and you know see their expertise and their knowledge in action. Uh, one of the biggest incentives I felt like was was the student farm and because a lot of people nowadays have not you know grown their own vegetables and, and that was uh, you know a big learning environment that, that I wanted to participate in. All right, I'm Lindsay Olson. I'm from Stillwater, Oklahoma. I go to, I'm a junior here at OSU. Um, my major is mathematics with the option for secondary education and a minor in Russian language and literature. Me and another intern are working under Dr. Shelley Mitchell. Um, it's kind of the extension part of this urban horticulture internship. So while the other ones, like I said, are doing research, we are strictly working with the youth and um, some adults. But the internship altogether, I think is for anybody um, you know they took me so I guess it is um, you learn a lot they're gonna teach you everything you really need to know that they're trying to teach so I mean it's really you don't have to have a background in it as I'm an ag education major so I really wanted some experience working with kids um, of all ages I want to be able to teach children about agriculture in all areas um, of life so I've never really had a lot of hands-on um, application so I've gained a lot of that um, working with kids from Plants and Bugs Camp, uh, Camp Turf, Unidos, um, special needs kids and so it's been a really great learning opportunity. I'm Tori Lewis, I'm from North Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, I go to Langston University and I'll be a sophomore next fall. I'm doing um, nitrogen fertilizer analysis on uh, Bermuda grass. Basically what we're doing we're trying to figure out a fertility, fertility plan uh, in the outcome of the project, but I'm going to be taking away a lot of research information and how to conduct all the research the correct way and how to set up research, everything that has to do with research basically. I've been on a lot of field trips. Basically, we go to places that have to do with horticulture and they like higher scale of what we're doing. We went to the Noble Research Foundation. I thought that was really cool. It's a lot of people here have the same interests as me, so we all bond really well, hang out time, from time to time when we're not studying or doing research. So. I'm Matt Bertrack. I'm an OSU horticultural science major, uh, a junior, and I'm studying uh, LED lighting effects on leafy greens, specifically uh, lettuce, basil, and chard. And I have uh, blue lights, a combination of red and blue lights, and then uh, just sunlight. We're going to be testing a few things, but particularly nitrate values, you know, um, overall health, you know, how how uh, healthy these plants actually are for you to eat. I really wanted to learn more about greenhouse work and uh, whether or not I want to go to grad school and I think it's uh, been a really good experience. The mentor relationship, it's, it's good because uh, you have them at your disposal. You know, any questions you have, you know, they pretty, they, Dr. Dunn can pretty much answer and uh, like I say, he's a wealth of knowledge as far as research goes. Well, my name is Reva McCarty. I'm from Kellyville, Oklahoma, and I'm a senior at Oklahoma State University, and my major is um, agriculture education with an option in horticulture. My project is the effects of glow-in-the-dark paint on petite peace lilies and the effects and how that affects their growth rate and photosynthesis. With my classes, I just had a brief glimpse of some of horticulture practices, and here I get to really get some hands-on experience and um, really get to know uh, more about the horticulture field as a, as a whole. Also, every Monday we do a three-minute thesis, which we get to go and explain to our fellow students what we did the previous week before and kind of where we're at. Because with those three MTs, I'm getting to see my fellow students and their experiences, and so they're transferring their mentor's knowledge to our knowledge, and so I'm getting to just see the overall aspect of horticulture. Hi, my name is Elisa Sims, and I am from Kiefer, Oklahoma. I attend Langston University, and I'm pursuing a degree in agricultural business. I'm Joel Cleaver and I'm from Corn, Oklahoma and I'm going to Southwestern Oklahoma State University and I'll be a senior majoring in biology. <laughs> so we're comparing paper mulch, plastic mulch and then bare soil and we're mainly looking at how it affects the yield. I'm doing tomatoes. And I'm doing okra. I needed a summer job and since I'm not really sure what I want to do in the future, this kind of gives me the experience and lets me see other aspects of like growing plants and stuff that I didn't know about. Since I'm away from home, having somewhere to live, yeah, it just all worked out. 
Well, Dr. B and Linda, they are awesome. And I'm glad that I had the opportunity to work with them this summer. I, I'd just rather be out here than be in a lab or be in the greenhouse. I'd rather be out here and actually experiencing Mother Nature and how she reacts to us and how we react to her. So when we filled out the application, we ranked different things, like from one to 10, I think, on like, yeah, what we most were interested in. And this was my first choice because I enjoy the hands-on part and wanted to know how to grow things better. Apply. <laughs> if you're at all interested in horticulture, I'd say go for it yeah. because, yeah, you, it's not just one thing you're focused on. We've got to go see a whole bunch of different places and, yeah, you get a lot of experience. And you'll never know when you'll, where you'll end up after this. So, yeah, I've met a lot of interesting people and all different sorts of areas across of Oklahoma, so it's been a pleasure. So Charles, after they finished their 10 weeks, I mean, this was some fantastic research that they did. What happened with that research? So at the end of our 10 weeks, we held a research symposium. And, um, you know, this was the 10 students all got to get up in front of, of, of their peers and, and a few of our uh, faculty in our department and present their research. And from there, uh, we selected the top uh, uh, students presentations and they were allowed to then go on and present their findings at a, 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 a regional scientific meeting um, and this year we're planning to send five of those students to, to those meetings. Wow. That's a fantastic opportunity for these students. So what's the plan for this coming season? Are you going to be providing this program again and how does somebody apply? Right so we, we're, we're hoping to get this thing um, off and running uh, mid-May again through July okay. of 2019. Um, applications are open right now and, uh, um, and we're looking to have a deadline in, in mid-February for, for final applications. All right, can anybody apply or what are the requirements um, for those applicants? So, so uh, the only requirement is that you are uh, 18 or older and uh, enrolled in either a two or four year uh, college. Um, and uh, doesn't it doesn't have to be in it doesn't, Oklahoma. It doesn't have to be in Oklahoma. Okay. Um, um, and, and like I said, it doesn't have to be a four-year institution. It, it can be a two-year, and it doesn't have to be in horticulture. It doesn't have to be in agriculture. Uh, we just want someone who is who is interested in the idea of of research, or uh, or or horticulture, or or any kind of biological type of, of system. So there's more information. Um, on our department website as well as there's a there is a online application available for them as well all right fantastic thank you dr Fontenier, for sharing this with us thank you we hope you enjoyed this video it's part of our oklahoma gardening youtube channel you can also find even more videos on our okay gardening classics youtube channel and join us on social media for great gardening tips photos and discussion